picking cotton in our last field for the year. We're right here by the barn. We got 135 acres. Delta Pine 2021, I believe is the variety. And hands down, best cotton we've picked all year. So pick and clean, um, can't even make a round. And um, rabbits everywhere. There's one right there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But uh, anyway, I am uh, running the cotton picker. Keepy had an errand he needed to run, but he's on the way back. So um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to our channel. Maybe tell somebody about it. Oop, getting off the road. Uh, give this video a like, and let's start the video now. I left my wallet in the ocean. That for yes, sir. There's Keefe. He didn't stay gone too long. Sweat light. Is that what it is? Yeah. I was going to come up with something clever and say you Sweat were... Light. 547. You slept late or you were taking some ballet classes, but <laughs> that was nice to you. Hey, y'all, I know I look kind of scraggly, but uh, we've been busy. But uh, I hate to break it to y'all, but this ain't 5711. This is uh, 2020 or something like that, but uh, just look at it. That's some cotton right there, y'all. We appreciate all y'all that's followed us along this year. Y'all watched us get the land ready, watched us plant these seeds, watched us spray them and fertilize them. Now y'all get to see us, see us picking it. You to get a full moon, huh? I will. Huh? That teaspoon, he going home for the day. Full moon coming up right there. And one heck of a sunset over here. It was really showing out a minute ago. That big cloud right there was solid pink. We need to get uh, seven pallets of corn okay. from Ed's in the morning. That's why I put those two straps in the truck. Seven pallets happened, of corn. My boy got some deer. And then, and then I get up there it. and they don't know nothing about right. it and I'm, with, I'm waiting on corn. Yeah, he's trying to get him a 30 pointer. Seven <laughs> pallets of corn. film, you want to look at your hat. It says salt life, but you can't even tell it. It's because I've been picking cotton, man. <laughs> cotton, man. I think he jumped into the cotton. You look at this picture. Awesome. With the moon in the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Harvest moon. All right, it's the next morning. Well, it's not morning. It's uh, 9.50. Keefe is going to get the generator wired up to our irrigation pivot so we can walk it out of the way. Uh, this pivot runs on electricity, so we've already cut the power off. Even for three months, if you don't move this pivot, they still charge you like $500 a month or something crazy for like a, what do they call it, maintenance or something charge? Something. Who knows? Uh, who knows? That might all be incorrect. It's, it's, it's BS though, because the transformer's sitting there still pulling power, uh -huh. even though he disconnected it to disconnect. That transformer's still pulling juice. Right. I don't know. I flip this, because it's got the wires hanging out the door. Don't need to show that. I was just gonna get our butt. Nope, let's edit that out. Is it going the right way? I can't tell. All right, stepping into the cotton picker now. I'm gonna run it for a little bit while Keefe's gonna run the store, get his snacks, drinks, and he's mailing off uh, two hats and a shirt that we sold to Tate Reed from Oklahoma. So Tate, if you're watching this, I sure do appreciate it. And if you guys would like to purchase a Field Rose uh, hat or shirt, we don't have this style. Um, Richardson hats are extremely hard to come by for some reason. But anyway, fieldrose.com. Christmas is coming up. Maybe you want to buy somebody a nice Field Rose hat or shirt. So check it out. Fieldrose.com. You can get them there. Let's start picking cotton now. So we definitely saved the best cotton for last. This is a Delta Pine 2020. Last field we planted behind the cucumber. So I think this planting date with jeans was like June 3rd. Relatively late to plant cotton, but turning out good. What's up everybody? It is 10.30. We got an early start today. We didn't have no due last night. We could have got the picker ready quicker. We could have done been started. Got about six acres here. And roughly 60 on that side. And I would love for us to finish today. Oh no. So I only like that far for making it. But I'm slam full of already auger cotton out on the door i've got a little gap there but for some reason on the left side it's just so i've got to just drive over cotton i'm just running over cotton dang it you hate to do that but i'm sure keepy ain't gonna let me lift this down oh 
jam. Ooh, somebody gonna be in trouble. See y'all, I told you somebody was gonna be in trouble. Jim got the motor. He's having to run the motor motor now. Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've been on the channel. Jim and I have been at odds, so he ain't put me on the channel. Um, about to mark all these modules. The guys got 14 built here, and they're at their last field. Yeah, last field of the year now. So come along. Let's mark some of these modules with safe paint. Pretty much what you do, you just go to each one, and you put a control number on it. Now, the control number stays the same unless you're, like, swapping varieties or something. And then you just mark them. For instance, I'm going to mark these 1 through 12, one through 14. And then the module trucks will come. They'll pick them up, take them to the gin, drop them off in the yard till it's its turn to go through the gin. And it goes through the gin. Take the seeds out. Take all the trash out. There's a piece of a uh, cotton, uh, what'd you call it? B bowl piece of the bulb kind of flaked off and you got little leaves and all that so you just really uh it cleans it all up and you just got pure cotton forgot what number i was on four four and you walk over to the other side bam you guys check out if you, if you guys like youtube farming you shouldn't be watching this channel you should be watching the millennial farmer he's one of the biggest youtube farmers out there uh hard to believe it but i just found out about him a couple months ago but uh yeah i got a millennial farmer shirt i ordered from farm focus i got a hat and i even got a koozie i got two stickers but but i lost them so zach johnson if you see this it'd be really cool if you comment on this video or or like it because i'm your biggest fan and zach um You'll probably never see this, but I'm gonna write a song for you called Zack Attack. Zack Attack's farming like a mountain lion. He works all day, he never wastes time. You are the best farmer in the whole world. Millennial Farmer, farm fo farmfocus.com. Dang it, <laughs> messed that one up. It's supposed to be a seven. Just made it into a fancy seven. Woo! <laughs> and here we are at the last one. Total of 14, four, 14 modules. Here we go. Dang it. And I always like to paint a little something special on the very last one. <laughs> oh, man. When I was a teenager, daddy had me one time uh, marking all the modules, and I did way more than that. I had the front and the back had a whole scene um like an agriculture theme I actually went and got some uh, uh oh what's going on oh, thought, thought my camera died anyway i went and got some like yellow paint green paint did a beautiful ad agriculture theme uh paint uh, i mean i spent a lot of time on it um but i guess they don't this this stuff is it's safe for cotton it's easily removed by scoring and bleaching um, but the paint I was using was like, I don't know, lead paint or acrylic. So the, the gin wasn't there. Pick that up. The, the gin wasn't too stoked. Although it was, I mean, it was a nice, it was just about a mural uh, on the cotton. Um, but like, long story short, I was the only one that was really excited about it. <laughs> All right, let's head uh, to the field now. My hands nice and warm using this millennial farmer koozie that I bought at Farm Focused. Mm. All right, here we are, guys, pulling up to the cotton field right here by the barn. Here we are pulling. Up. Oh, good job, Keith. You looks like you missed quite. What happened here? Oh, big wash. There's Jeff. Jeff run the bow buggy. So y'all have already met Teaspoon. He's running the module builder. 
How y'all doing? How's it going today? I'm all right, Randy. You all right? Pretty good. Yeah, is that a new shirt? Yeah, it's a uh, Millennial Farmer. He's my best uh, YouTuber. Uh, your twin brother got one like that too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? This teaspoon. Y'all can see I got the basket full of cotton back there behind me. I'm thinking about taking a swan dive in it. What y'all think? I'm all the way down there, the boy done fell down, I can't help it. All right, y'all, y'all have a blessed day. Zach attacks farming like a rattlesnake. Like a John Deere tractor, he never breaks. Zach attacks farming like a raging bull. When the sun heats up, he stays cool.